Are you interested in saving money on a remodeling project on your home? I'm always interested in saving money. Yeah. All this money, money, money coming to me. Okay. Well, we got seven tips for you. Vicki and I saw this online report for a 2023 return on investment on a remodeling project. It had some interesting and very surprising data. Check out some of the data. So here's Brandy and I's seven tips to save you money and stress when considering a remodeling project. Number one, write your vision down. Write down in detail your remodeling vision with complete list of the products, the fixtures, and finishes you want. Number two, cost saving tip. Trade savings on a lower priced item for the ability to afford a higher priced item that you love and seems more desirable to you. Here's an example. Let's say you love this dining room fixture and it's really expensive. Well, spend money, uh, lower money on like the hallway, the laundry room, maybe kitchen and other, so you could spend it. It's got trading money to put it where you want it. Or maybe not the most expensive countertops for your kitchen, but countertops that still give you an awesome look, but at about 10 or 20% less. Number three, may sell in the future? Do not go wild on items Ooh. that are costly to change out if you want a better rate on return. So Vicki, what's the most personalized home feature you've ever seen? Well, for me, it was custom purple countertops. And I would actually had, dig that though. You would dig that with purple well, walls and purple flooring. That, I saw one that had a purple lavender commode and but tub. It's, but it's very personalized. So I guess they really like purple. I, did, I would like it, it'll be fun. But you got a purple Jeep, that's why. I know, I like <laughs> everything purple. Number four, permits. Make sure that your contractor or you pull the proper permits for your remodeling project. This could save you a whole bunch of money because if you find out you're out of compliance and didn't follow the code, you have to fix it later on. Nobody wants that. Number five, meet and interview with more than one licensed contractor. Getting a couple of estimates on the exact same work, make sure to compare apples to apples. And sometimes the lowest price does not mean it's the best contractor for you. Ask for references and see their work. Number six, verify your contractor is truly licensed in the field of work they are, will be doing for you and that they have proper insurance and are bonded. This is really important. We could tell stories on this topic alone all day. Yeah, multiple. Number seven, think hyper-local. Get your estimates for the project and then talk to experienced local real estate professionals like us about home values in your neighborhood and what your return on the investment might be. No matter what your return on the investment may be, you still may want to proceed forward. That would be but me. It's, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's best to be well informed. Thinking of buying or selling a home, we would love to let our knowledge go to work for you. If you find this video interesting, make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date. Remember, it's your home, your lifestyle, and we are your real estate team. Deuces, let's go. That's kind of funny.